Video Tree. This is Don Kaufman, June 28th, 2023. Just about 19 minutes left inside of the trading day here on this Wednesday afternoon trade. Just feeling disconnected, chaotic. I mean, you may look at the S&P futures with me right now. They're down some seven handles. NASDAQ, for the most part, is massively unchanged. But you're not seeing the whole picture. Something has clearly changed in this marketplace. I mean, again, some very fast breaks to the upside, news driven, you know, trade to the downside. But again, what I don't like about the present tape, as I said, it's a very broken, disconnected feel. And when we are moving, it is fast and contract size is coming seemingly out of nowhere which brings us of course to this evening's video and the topic taking profits in an uncertain marketplace and that is exactly what I am attempting to do look if I've got positions where I've sold some premium and the opportunity okay presents itself to buy back that premium for you know, right around that 50% mark I am out okay and that's all I've been doing over the last, you know, two to three days is just trying to book some profits, get back and uh, and reduce my risk. And you can see here in the uh, S&P options on futures, uh, oh, again, covering the 4,900 call then turning around and covering the 3550 puts, both for 50% gains. Uh, if I take a look here on uh, Taste Trade, obviously uh, covering uh, not too dissimilar positions, the 4,700 calls, covering the 3,600 puts. People, again, when it comes to premium selling, if I can cover it right now, reduce risk, take it and run. Why? Again, what really strikes me as unusual inside of this tape? As I said a moment ago, something has clearly changed in the tape. We're seeing obviously some two-sided action, but it feels like some of the ranges are really starting to pick up as well. Clearly, when I say two-sided trade, what I'm discussing on that front is, yeah, we're no longer like this breakaway to the upside. Two-sided trade obviously implies there's some sell side, there's some buy side in there. But what I don't like in the present tape, and one of the reasons I'm just telling you, okay, book some profits, bail, duck dive, whatever it is you got to do, okay? Don't be carrying a tremendous amount of delta risk right now, okay? And delta risk, for those of you that uh, do not speak option geek, it uh, implies don't take a lot of directional risk in that unless that risk is defined, unless you're comfortable with it. Because uh, the tape throughout the course of the day, it's, again, you look at it, you're like, ah, it's just some back and forth chop, but it's not. It's not just some back and forth chop, okay? As I said, seemingly out of nowhere, we're getting very, very large ranges that are trading, uh, again, volumes picking up out of nowhere. The skew, once again, I was talking about this in the weekend update, and I want to reiterate it because it's so critically important. The skew in many of your tech stocks, right? Everything from Meta to Tesla to NVIDIA, we're dealing with, an inverted implied volatility skew, which you know a lot of people are just not familiar with not only that terminology, but you know what it implies to have an inverted implied volatility skew. And I'll kind of show you what the inverted implied volatility skew looks like. We can cruise over here to Meta, right? And I'll highlight this. I was doing this a little bit on the uh, the weekend update, but if you look at the calls, just look at calls right now with me. Don't worry about the puts at the money implied volatility. And the meta calls is ah, maybe 29.66. And as you go further out of the money, the implied volatility actually goes higher. That, uh, well, for the most part, just tells you that demand is incredibly high for people that are rushing the marketplace and just like buying calls. And you're like, well, that's good. I mean, you have to think about it, though. For what it's worth, the out of the money calls are presently trading for a premium over many of out of the money puts. So whenever you ask somebody the question like, oh, what do you think risk is inside of Meta? Is risk to the upside or is risk to the downside? With an inverted implied volatility skew, that basically means that risk at that point, okay, is technically to the upside. 
that's uh, leaves me in a very uneasy place. And I'm going to tell you exactly why it leaves me in an uneasy place, because there are trading firms, proprietary trading firms, okay, that look at this very similar to the way that I look at it. I actually look at that inverted implied volatility skew as being rather advantageous. It makes me want to come out of the woodwork and, uh, if you will, sell some of those out of the money calls. Hey, yo, if you actually know what you're doing, you can sell the calls and actually reduce the risk, kind of hedge on the fly, and you got yourself uh, some nice implied volatility on those calls. But with people, again, they don't get, if you come in and you rush the marketplace and you start to sell calls, it's going to whipsaw that stock to the downside because selling calls, right, is what? Selling calls is negative delta, right? It's negative delta. On the opposing side of that would have to be a market maker that's buying calls. And if they're buying calls, they're probably shorting stock to all basically unload their delta. That forces the stock down. What I think you're seeing on the screen right now, uh, you know, I was saying this the other day, there's no technicals, there's no fundamentals, okay? We're seeing on the screen right now is as the marketplace has rallied, specifically the NASDAQ as it's rallied, it's advantageous at that point to rush the marketplace and actually sell calls as the market's going up. And all of a sudden we're getting these fast, like whipsaw action back to the downside. And it's the dynamics, if you will, of an inverted implied volatility skew. And that's why I'm just telling you again, if you don't understand this, the geek fest around an inverted implied volatility skew, well, understand this, take profits, take profits. It's not just an uncertain market, okay? This is where volatility can get rather extreme. And of course, people are looking at VIX and be like, well, the VIX is dead, okay? The VIX is not, okay, looking at an, you know, an inverted implied volatility skew. The VIX is also, you know, it's 30 days out. It doesn't look at risk the same way, if you will, it used to, okay? What we see inside of the market though right now is again, ranges are really starting to pick up, okay? That is on an intraday basis, you're starting to see again, an ex a little bit more of an expansive range. Today is probably not like a wonderful day to explain that, but even inside the NASDAQ today, right? The rally, the fade, as I said, you know, some people are looking at this, ah, it's just light trade. It's, it's broken and disconnected because there's no volume. Yeah, except that um, massive volume seems to be coming out of the woodwork every time okay, we have this rally and then actually reverse off of it. So you got to be extraordinarily careful at this time. As I said, book the profits okay, when they're afforded to you. Look, trying to handicap forward risk right now, it's, it's futility. All you can basically do is say like, hey, you know, what's the expected move? If you take a look at the SPX, the mother of all products inside of the SPX this week. And again, I want to be very clear about this because it's the only way you, I think you can really handicap risk right now in markets. But, you know, this week we're looking for plus or minus approximately a $55 move. Okay. We rallied. We got fairly close to the upper edge of the expected move today and faded off of it. All right. The way I see it, we just have a ton of movement. Look, the upside, the upside of the expected move this week is right in around the 4403. Now that's 4403, okay, to the SPX, to the downside. What do we have over here? About 4293. Again, this is a point in time where this is how you got to handicap forward risk. It's not, it's not going to be about what you think. Well, I'm so bullish or I'm so bearish. I don't think that's fair to do to yourself at this point. That inverted implied volatility skew keeps even the, uh, the most savvy traders a little bit on edge. And I have to tell you, that is exactly where I am at at this point. You know, markets trying to bid up. And they're going to get crushed back down. Can you believe that the uh, the Nasdaq futures are going to finish for the most part massively unchanged today? But uh, again, people, there's a whole lot of risk to unfold in this marketplace. Don't go into the uh, into the holiday weekend just yet. I think there's uh, still a lot of movement left on the table out there. And again, take profits in an uncertain marketplace. Thanks everybody for joining us here at Theo Trade. Have a wonderful evening. Bye bye.